previously on Odyssey of the Dragon Lords. The last time the party were deep within the Mithril Forge with Kira and Vulcan. They fought many troglodytes but managed to escape after thinning their numbers. They found the body of a huge Cerberus creature, a creature of Lutheria, and managed to rest up before taking the elevator down, avoiding a nasty trap in the process. They now find themselves on the main floor of the Mithril Forge, in the very depths of the mountain. Now, without a moment's break, they find something large growling in the area ahead. A large, three-headed dog creature, looking ravenous and ready to strike. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, yeah, we're going to... Uh, literally, you guys have wandered around the corner, coming out of the elevator. You heard the growling in the moment. You were just checking out one of the side rooms as this is all going on. But, uh, yeah, this huge three-headed dog creature is in the next room along with some buddies and uh we're gonna roll straight into some initiative here so oh my God. uh yeah you gotta uh you gotta you gotta get yourselves roll good guys roll good <laughs> uh i'll oh, roll its initiative let's see how it's gonna do it rolled a five so that's that's probably good uh i will roll in the gods and then Modius, I'll roll you in, obviously, as well. Yeah, please, Manny. And that's okay. No worries. You've got a nine, so you're in there, uh, oh. in in amongst it, in oh, the mid, in the middle here, as this is all going on. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, have a, I have a javelin with the uh, the, the uh, sort of malice to get some of that blood or the goo from that creature. You that definitely did. Yeah, you've definitely got you've definitely got a javelin uh, in, uh, in, in, on, on you. Uh, it is in your inventory, so it could definitely be one of the things that happens if uh, if you want to use that in your turn. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, as we, we we're going to begin here. So uh, from from your point of view, Colin, then I'll give you this. So the way this works out is that you guys are coming around a corner here. There is a large three headed <laughs> dog along with two smaller ones. Uh, the, the type that you you, you guys fought, uh, not fought, you saw upstairs turned to stone. You smashed them up. Uh, uh, that yeah. you smashed them up last time. So you haven't fought these things before, uh, but you do. You are aware of the, the size and the nature uh, as this is going on. So, right, we're going to uh, begin some combat here, and we're going to see how this is going to play out. Uh, Kira, up first, uh, realising what's going on, uh, begins to sing. Mm -hmm. Not a bad thing. Cal, uh, you're you're yes, you're next in the uh, in the in the turn order here, Cal. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold uh, an action Eldritch Blast. Okay, okay. Um, What's the trigger gonna be? If that dog come the big the big one, if he comes closer to us, it's gonna launch then. Got you. Yeah, the minute it moves in your direction, you're going to uh, yeah. to do it. Uh, the big one or any of them uh, is the, is the... Um, any of them. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, so yeah, that will uh, will definitely uh, take effect uh, on that one. Are you moving or anything else? Because you won't be able to do that once you're uh, once it's off your turn, if that makes sense. Um, no, I can fire from where I am, can't I? You definitely can. You oh, you've got a clear shot. Yeah. If you you, you want to stay yeah. put where you are. Uh, yeah, no problem fine. at all. Uh, the first of the uh, of these death dogs will get their turn. Uh, they have a speed of forty feet. Uh, it will begin to run up to Silas, uh, triggering Cal your uh, your reaction. And with a twenty five, you hit for ten. Absolutely, uh, catching this creature across the side of the one of the heads, uh, burning it slightly. Um, so yeah, that is that has kicked in, okay. and now it is going to be uh, its turn on Silas. It's going to attempt to bite. Let's see how. What has it got? Two bite attacks. So the first one will be a twelve. That will definitely miss, and the second one will be a seven. Not a bad start for you guys. They're uh, mm -hmm. uh, they're of both. From... Have we got full spell slots and? Yeah, you rested on the floor yeah. above for, uh, last time, so That's you cool. are you are you at your you're at your maximum, uh, which is probably good considering you're against a boss. <laughs> uh, so yes, this is not uh, not 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 light stuff. But right, okie dokie. Uh, so yeah, that's all done. Uh, it comes to your turn, Modius. Uh, in the in positioning at the moment, I'm assuming you would want to move to be next to Silas, uh, blocking the front of the. The space next to Silas, does that make sense, Colin? Uh, from uh... Yeah, it would be. Uh, I'd, I'd want to 
try and get in the way of them. So at least next to Silas. Yep, and yep, no problem. Try and take this reckless raging. Yep, um, no problem. You'd certainly bonus action and be able to do your rage, which I'll do on that front. And, and I, as I'm doing this, I'm going to say to Heliod, dude, we might we could do some of that divine blessing you've got. <laughs> Have well. no fear, Medesius, I'm uh, on it. <laughs> Fair um, enough. And... Uh, uh, it, the, there is yeah. a there is one of these dog creatures right next to you guys, and obviously there's things way f the big one is way way further off Modius at the moment. Oh really? Okay. So there's only one that's in range. Uh, if you wanted to do uh, close attacks, however, you could do a, you could chug a javelin, you know, chuck a javelin at distance if you wished. Uh, is the other um, option. Words. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt, mate. Did I do two blasts? No, you, no, you held your action. That's the price you pay. Oh, of course, that's uh, why I didn't do it. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's different this um, time. Yeah, it's the price okay, you pay when you like... hold your action. That's okay. No problem. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sorry, Modis. Yeah, yeah, so you could either uh, hack at the one nearby you, or you could throw a javelin uh, to try and take on the three-headed giant one that's further off. It's up to you. How far is it away? Uh, I think about twenty-five feet, something like that. Okay, so it could attack next turn as well. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, uh, they're definitely. It's in the initiative list, is it? To attack? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little further down, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely there. Um, my instinct is that I need to bash. The, we need to bash these things and get them out of the way first, because mm -hmm. uh, otherwise I won't get an extra attack. And we need to sort of really help with the uh, get the hit points down on us, really. Okay, um, fair so enough. So I'm going to smack these dog. Um, and do you want to do the Great Weapon well, Master, the whole shebang? Yeah, because we've got an extra roll from, from Kira. Kira yeah, so absolutely. give me advantage as well. That's okay. So let's do a um, Great Weapon Master and Smack one. I get extra and, Smack and, well. and Reckless as well. Uh, reckless Raging. Re yeah. Reckless Raging. It's all turned on. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Are you okay rolling it for me, mate? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. So you uh, you did a 14. Uh, we needed the advantage from Reckless. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, that does work, and that does 23 <laughs> points of damage to the first of these dogs. Uh, so, uh, is it dead? It is not dead after the uh, after I'll that first smack. Set. it again then. Uh, but on the second smack, I don't get advantage from Kira, Kyra, do I? Uh, you can have advantage from Kira whenever you want, if, you, if that makes sense. Rec Reckless was giving you advantage. Kira is a reroll. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's okay, that's so, different. Um, if I if I hit it again on my extra attack, I mm. get a re-roll on that as well. Yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, until you use it from Kira, it's it's in play. If that makes oh, really? sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. You to use it once each turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In that case, I'll do that. I'll I'll smack it again with my extra attack. Um, okay. Um, same. If it doesn't same smash. thing on that front. Okay. Uh, you get a sixteen for eighteen slashing damage. You do kill. Okay. Uh, the first of these dogs. Uh, the, hey, the, it was yeah. a small one, but you've uh, yeah you've uh, you've taken him out before it's Sweet. done too much damage. How many dogs are there? There's the large Three. three headed dog one, and then another one of these smaller creatures nearby. Okay, it's just uh, okay. Two small ones, one big one. One's yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. Cool. One one is definitely right. down on that one. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. And obviously you're probably staying put uh, just as uh, as where you are. That makes sense. Okay, Silas. Yeah. yeah. Round to you, Silas. Uh, obviously the one in front of you is dead. Um, but what's, uh, what's Silas's thoughts for this? Um, my thoughts are to cast Dragon's Wrath. Ah, fair enough. Okie dokie, yeah. Uh, that's on your sheet somewhere, isn't it? So if you can, uh, it's alright if I, if I press it for you, if that's okay. Uh, so I can press it, I was just wondering, so it has to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw, doesn't it? So it does indeed, yes, absolutely, yeah, on that front. I'm going to do that now, given that it's not, you know... Uh, right, on that one, honest. so yeah... Uh, uh, so, well, let me just, let me just, one quick question, this this thing takes up a 3x3 three three square, whereas yeah. a four, it's only a 4... In it's four by four in front feet. of you, yeah. Uh, large creatures can squeeze into smaller spaces. Uh, right. That okay. it, but they can't. He couldn't get into a one, a ten foot corridor. If that makes sense, it would be uh, harder. Yeah, it would be yeah, almost yeah. impossible. If that makes sense. Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll give this uh, thingy a go. Okie dokie. So yes. Uh, so both. Uh, you can choose each creature. So you can choose both of these uh, at yeah, the same time. Them. That's no yeah. problem. So I'm going to do the save first of all. Uh, let's see how it's going to do. Uh, and it's a wisdom save. Okay. 
so the Cerberus gets a 22, and let's see how the uh, how the little dude is going to do on that one. And uh, saves wisdom. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Um, but the smaller yeah. one uh, is feared of you uh, with this rolling a seven. So this one is frightened. Uh, so this one cannot move so, closer. Yeah, that's a good result. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Yeah. That's a 50% result, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, don't... But is it close uh, enough to hit still? It's not at the moment, no. Uh, but, yeah, okay. it's not... It can't move closer to Silas right now as this okay. is all going on. Is it a disadvantage on strikes? No, it just means it can't... Uh, it just can't. can't go near... Yeah, it can't go anywhere near him. Okay, and it re-rolls every time, does it? Would do that no. Yeah, it, ha it, it has disadvantage on abilities checks and attack rolls uh, whilst the source of its fear is in sight, if that makes sense. So yeah, see, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. there is there is more for one minute, yeah, which is ten, minute, so which is almost ten rounds, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, so we could be good then. Okay. Yeah, you could be good, but it can uh, it can roll every so often to try and uh, to try and break that, if that makes sense uh, on that one. But yeah. we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, so. It says it has disadvantage on ability checks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. attack rolls. Yeah, it's both. Yeah, yeah, which is good. And it can't move closer to me. Yeah, so it, it won't be going any closer to you guys than that at the moment, which is good. Which is damn good. Unfortunately, All the time, it would be better if it was the other way around. But well, granted, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would. I'm not disagreeing with you uh, on that one. Um, but yes, yeah, so you've done your um, you've done your action there of that dragon's wrath. I believe that was that would have been your action. But that doesn't mean you yeah. haven't got a bonus and movement if you so see I fit. I don't know what bonus actions I've got that are useful here. Um, yeah, distance stuff for you might be a little bit a uh, little bit lacking uh, at this point, probably. I don't think I've got. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Looking at you, sheet quickly, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I don't recall having any real bonus action. Right. Well, I'll just have to. Okay. No problem. Okay. Right. So yeah, if you're all done, then Silas, uh, or uh, or not. Yeah, I'm. I'm to go. Move. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm finished, I'll just hold fast here. So that is all done. Uh, this uh, creature will now come running over to uh, running mm -hmm. over to here. Uh, so it's directly in front of Modius and Silas. Uh, it has no preference on which one of you to go for, so I'm going to just roll a d4. One and a two, it will go for Modius. Three and a four, it will go for Silas. So let's see how it's going to do. Three and a four in this case, so it will be going for... Uh, it will be going for Silas uh, as oh. this is all going on. Okay. Uh, right, okay, Silas. So the first attack, let me see how many attacks this has got. Three bites for three heads, that makes sense. Okie dokie. Uh, so I'm assuming a 14 will miss for the, with the first yeah. one. Uh, the second attack, uh, I'm assuming a 22 will hit you uh, yeah. uh, for 10 piercing and four fire damage. Uh, oh fire? As as it's literally the, the burning more of this creature bites down on your on, on your armor and your shoulder. Uh, and then the third attack uh, will be a 24 to hit for 13 piercing and 6 fire damage. Jesus. Uh, right, well, I'm down to 11 hit points, I think, already. Okay, um, okay. Uh, but it, all three heads have been at this point. And... Uh, so that's 14... Hang on, that's 14, 20... Yeah, 33, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... A lot of damage. A lot wow. of damage. Uh, right. So yeah, this giant creature has uh, yeah has bit down and done that. Uh, it's Vulcan's turn, and uh, he, he sort of looks at Kira and looks at it and uh, and says, "Not much we can do. I guess you can keep singing." As he sort of oh. looks at her, uh, and then Heliod, it's your turn. Okay. Um... Well, I will uh, bless the party. Um, nice, okay. And then I'm going to sort of turn and sternly look at Vulcan and say, Vulcan, we need your help. You could do better than this. Uh, make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, 19 uh, yeah he's sort of uh 
Uh, he's sort of, he's looking at you. You can see there's something going on, Heliod, and he's kind of like, um, he wants to help in some ways or something, but he's not, yeah, he's not doing anything in the moment, but you think your words are hitting home, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, as this is all going on. Uh, nice one. Are you moving okay. or anything, uh, no, anything no, else? Thing put and, uh, yep. Okay, um, fair enough. The second one of the dogs uh, will will go running off round the corner, uh, so it is now no longer ha has sight of its fear. Uh, so that is that will pass. And back ah. to the top of the turn, Kira is uh, carrying on singing. No surprise. Cal, okay, you've just on, nice. Cal, you've uh, yeah, you've literally uh, just uh, watched this thing literally maul uh, Silas. Uh, in the last few moments, uh, with two different heads fighting each other out over uh, over his body. Um, but yeah, what do you do? Uh, um, I don't know if I've got any. I can't remember if I picked up healing potions when we picked some up. Mm, I, I think you guys spent them all upstairs, didn't you? Did Finding troglodytes, or at least close to it. I'm pretty sure you were getting down there. Uh, on that front, um, you spent a ton. You spent a I ton of them on that. I can't remember if we used them all, but mm -hmm. you were getting close. Uh, yeah, I think on that front. Mm -hmm. well, Silas has only got eleven health left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't think he's going to survive another round. Well, I mean, um, ha I mean, you, you guys decide amongst yourselves. What did you? What do you think you had left? Uh, is overall. If we had any left, I would just say we had the one left. But okay, well, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm willing. I'm no, willing to. Either. I'm willing to sell you that. That's no problem. I'll go with that. You've got one left. Uh, I, remember, I remember giving you one, didn't I? Didn't I? I sort of picked you up and gave you one as well. One hundred percent. You were spending. You were spending yeah, them like uh, the like they were like they were we water. Sort of <laughs> How many did we buy? Do you remember? Uh, there there was, it was. Actually, it was only. It was only Cal that was down there, wasn't it? I think. You had um, about four. Uh, I think you had four total originally. And I was down to like um, uh, down that fast. Using I think that, that many I one. because it uses no. an action, doesn't it? No, it uses a bonus action. You were using them on your oh. bonus action to to spend to uh, right. uh, to down them. I mean, I was. Um, I, I don't remember. I was, the one, that was, well, I was the one that was mostly down, wasn't I? Um, but we start off with Silas. Got any heals left? Yeah, I can lay on hands, but I can only I can heal myself for twenty five hit points. But it takes an action to do it. Right. We'll say we'll say you definitely at least got one left. So, uh, well, no, let's let's make this let's let's let the dice solve it. I've got a one d four here. I'm That's gonna roll. I'm gonna roll really? it now, and we'll see how many are left, shall we? We'll see how it goes. Yeah, good idea. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it fair. So, in reality, there are three left in the party. There you go. Okay. okay. Ah, okay. right. Okay. Um, so could I, could I give one to Silas? You can pour it, you, in, 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 you can, you can lug it down his throat as a bonus, uh, as a bonus action, action, action you can. Uh, sorry, no, a bonus action to drink yourself. It's an action an to action. do it for someone else. Yes. Uh, an action think, to pour it. Yeah, yeah that's, why I don't do think, it. that's why I don't think we used that many, because it was, we were always having to use an action to do it, weren't we? Mm. If you were to I feed I'll, it to someone else, though, yeah. Because I'm on the, yeah. I'm on the yeah. back. I think I'll, I, I uh, said it. Can you throw it. it to me and I'll do it as a bonus action? You can do that. On my turn. You can definitely do that. Uh, so what, yeah. me passing it over yeah. to Silas would be a bonus action? Uh, no, no, that would be a free action. You can throw it. You can throw a. Uh, you can throw a, uh, a bottle over. That's no problem. I'll just. I'll just put my hand back and you can just put it into yeah. my hand. Yeah. No, that's no problem. Yeah. Okay. I've got no, no worries with that. Right. So I'll, I'll quickly pass that to him and then blast this thing with Eldritch Blast after. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Seventeen for nine. That will definitely Ooh. hit. Nice singeing fur oh, on one of the, on one of the heads. Um, and does he get another one? I believe you do get more than one, don't you? Uh, the uh, fifth level. Yeah, you get two beams at fifth. So there you go. And a nineteen for eleven. Absolutely. Uh, that got the attention of one of the heads. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, it's taken all of that. Uh, are you staying put, or are you moving? Uh, what's uh, what's uh, going on? No, as it's looking at me in such a yeah, way. Yeah, well, you've definitely got the attention of uh, of one bit. of uh, of one of the heads uh, on that front. Uh, on yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
bear with me just need to double check uh, on that one uh, uh, right yeah no, the reach is five feet okay no problem so uh, okay that is all done uh, Cal's moved back that one is already dead uh, Modius it's back round to your turn the giant creature is directly in front of you two sizes okay, so larger got... than you with three heads yeah I've got this javelin right so um, which, which I've sort of put a load of that goo upstairs from yeah. the other it's not a ra uh, javelin is a ranged weapon so if you try and yeah. use that you would be doing everything at disadvantage if you did but uh, you could try it okay okay um, I get disadvantage do I get advantage because I'm raising a reckless though? Yes, Using which means you would, that would that would even now as a it straight roll. It. it would be a straight roll if you wanted, but you wouldn't get advantage. Uh, and one, I could re-roll with Kyra, could I? You could re-roll with Kira if you wish. Yeah, yeah, but your okay. odds are still um, way lower than you would be with your other weapon. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with my great weapon master because at the moment I'm blessed, and I think it would do a lot more damage. Because extra, extra D4 every time, I think as well. It's, it's, it's not it's not not to be sniffed at no, absolutely yeah um, exactly and in that case yeah i'm gonna smack at the great weapon master um, you're on screen now as well so i can see me next to the silas okay uh, fair enough um your your um, your your attack would miss uh on that one but you can re-roll with kira shall, shall i roll it uh, if you can roll if you can roll yes if that yeah, makes you're, I'm, you're on screen so i'm on the mac so uh, um shall i roll yeah go you for it yeah already, yeah I've, I've rolled okay. that one but you can definitely roll the next one uh uh cole well, that's no problem you can do the kira okay, re-roll is... so it's already got all the all the um all the uh great okay. weapon master and the reckless is all that all, all turned on and ready to go uh the ship be coming on soon See how you do. Oh, there you are. It's fucking Master's Curse. Ah. Mm, nope. Okay. Um, okay, uh, let me do it the other way. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. What is that? That's a. Uh, like Turn this bloody house problem. Oh, that's what you do, mate. Ah, okay. Some, some reason. Okay. Reason. No, no problem. I will. Uh, I will redo it. Uh, your reroll with Kira was a fourteen, so you do twenty-one points of damage to this beastie. Uh, no, it won't okay, be. Uh, sorry, it won't be twenty-one. It will be your original. Twenty-one plus four. Uh, it will be. It will be the twenty-five from the oh, original 25. hit. It's be the twenty-five. Sorry, sorry. There. And is that twenty-five including the? D four as well. Add D four yep. from the bless. Yep, yep. it's uh, it's adding all of the all all of the extras uh, on that one. It doesn't give oh, you extra. It doesn't do extra damage. Uh, the the D four oh, is uh, is adding to your attack roll uh, okay, on, on that front. Um, but then you want. I'm assuming you want a great axe attack again uh, for your second attack. Yeah, I would. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no problem. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so I'll smack it again yep. using the uh, great. Axe. Yep, that's yeah, a 22 for 20, 22 damage. You have 100% got this creature's full attention, <laughs> uh, is the best way of yeah, putting it. So I've, I use my uh, my attack. Um, is there any way I can... So it breathes fire, does it? You breeze don't know air. that. You all, all that you've seen is that whatever it was doing with the, uh, with the actual... Um, uh, attack, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely caught, it was definitely burning, if that makes sense. Oh, so what did I see from it doing to Silas then? Fire. Fire fire in its mouth that was sort of melting part of his armour as it bit down on him. Okay, so is there any way of, um, because, I can't, can't, so I get an attack and an extra attack. Mm -hmm. Can I use a bonus attack to grapple it? But no, you've uh, it you've used all of, uh, you have, you, unless you've got an attack that's a bonus attack, uh, you don't, I don't think you do, do you, on that one? Um, uh, there was, uh, was the extra attack was the only thing I gained extra attack. Um, yeah, yeah. So you've done those two, yeah. but I'm not sure about any. Uh, you've got a uh, you've got a grapple feature that you can use. Yeah. Da -da -da, uh, uh, da -da, on, on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attack to attempt to a grapple a creature if you wish. So you can that's use it. your bonus as that's a grapple. It. Okay, so you can do it's a. Not, it's not an attack. It's, the yeah. it's, it's not grab, grabbing uh, him. Yeah, no um, problem. So it's... you're going to do a strength. Uh, 
uh, you're going to do a strength uh, athletics. So, yeah, uh, and you've got, you've got, you've got, athletics. Be, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got you got a, a 19, and then it got. Uh, oh, you've managed to roll it as well. Oh my, I'm getting confused now. So. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it turns out if I press a lot harder on the mouse, it actually works. Ah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. And then uh, it's it will do its roll and gets a 22, so it does beat your 19 uh, on that one. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, it's not grappled at the moment. Uh, okay, but I'm assuming you're staying put. You've definitely got its attention. Uh, that is done. Silas, round to you. Hello. Hello. So this thing's bitten um, you quite badly, but yeah, you're uh, you're still up right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to give it the short sword mm -hmm. treatment. That makes um, sense. Uh, Twenty three will definitely hit for eight. Um. Okay, I'm going to Divine Smite. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the one where I get to choose a level 2 or a level 1, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. I think I've got four level 1s and two level 2s. Is that correct? That sounds about right. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I'm assuming that's right. Uh, yeah, four level 1s, two level 2s. All right, well, I'll go for a level 2. Uh, second level... Uh, so yeah, okay. So uh, f another fourteen. Uh, is it a fiend? One second. Uh, it's not. Okay. So yeah. So another fourteen on top. Okay. And then I get my second attack. You definitely do. Did I roll that? Uh, yes, you yeah. did. Twenty-five for five. Oh. Come, that has come through. Are you gonna put anything on top of that one? Yeah, I'll do my. I'll do another smite. Things I hit it. Makes sense to me. Um, you gonna use your last year level twos, or you're doing a level yeah, one? Level two for another ten. Okay, so yes, uh, definitely, uh, definitely causing some grief as uh, as this is all going on. Uh, and as a bonus action, I'll drink my healing potion. Ah, nice. Yes, okie dokie. Uh, uh, so how, what do I do? Roll a d something? D6? Uh, no, it's 2d4 plus 4, I believe. I'll just double check that for you. Uh, it is 2d4 plus 2. So uh, on that one. 2d4 plus 2. Mm -hmm. So shall I just do this? That's it. That worked. Yep. So you got 3 plus 2 on top of that. So you got uh, 5 total back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not 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 the best rolls, unfortunately, uh, on a on a healing potion. But uh, uh, it is what it is on that. Front. I was expecting more from that. <laughs> uh, al al alas, <laughs> might be the term on that one. To be honest, you is about to clobber me anyway. So. It was, it's a poundland healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit light on uh, a bit light on the old thing on that front. Um, but yeah, I'm well, assuming you're staying put. You're not yeah, moving. Um, uh, it'd be nice if I could move to a. Who's in the turn order? Who's next? In the turn good to have you next to me. <laughs> uh, Heliod would be the next of you guys. Vulcan's in the turn order as well, but uh, yeah, they. Yeah, barring Cerberus that. is next, is it? Cerberus yeah. is next in the turn order. The thing is, is because I just hit it, the chances are it'll go for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to probably go for me. I've just whacked it for 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, is it is it worth me and moving to grapple it back as well. to like this square here? Yeah, it's up to oh, you. No, I can't because it'll get an opportunity, no, get an opportunity yeah, attack. Yeah. All right, I'll stay where I am. But buddy, does it get an opportunity attack if I had it in my wrestled or grappled? Does it still get opportunity? Uh, yeah, it still get an opportunity attack. It just can't move. You you remove its speed. Uh, is what uh, what grapple I'll allows? See, so it's, it stays on its spot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okie dokie. Uh, so yes, you. it is its turn. Let's see uh, how it's going to do as this is all going on. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, okay. Uh, 
Let's see how it's going to do then. Uh, I think it's going to rear back and the largest of the three heads is uh, literally going to uh, uh, sort of uh, sort of breathe in deeply and then it's just going to uh -oh. spew hot Silas fire. Do, oh does, does Silas's dodge thing work for this? Uh, hit, hit. Distract thing. Uh, no, I don't think it does because it hits that. An area that effect, yeah, that's, it? this is an area effect. He, it's uh, his reaction thing is to help dodge a, an attack, I believe, on that front. Uh, so I think I'm going to need a dexterity check from all four of you, please, as it this thing uh, rears I'll back I'll and uh, uh, on that front, Heliod, yeah. you will take 25 fire damage. Uh, oh, then, um, Kira, Kira. Yes, you can uh, you can reroll with Kira. That's absolutely is it a fine. Check? It is a saving. Ah, uh, you oh, yeah, you're all doing dex checks. Yeah, oh, you've got to do saving Jesus. throws. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, well, well done, oh, Cal. Yeah. Uh, Cal, that is a fail as well. Um, uh, Kyra. Absolutely. Sixteen. Uh, Silas would be a fail uh, on that front. Well, Cal. All three heads, is it? Uh, no, no, just the one. Uh, as long as uh, you've got to get above a fifteen, or if you if you don't, you fail. Dexterity. Yeah, dexterity save on that front. So uh, Silas, Silas is a fail. Uh, sorry, Silas is okay from Kira. Uh, so you will get you will take half half damage, Silas, because uh, anyone that gets above a fifteen will take half of twenty five. Anyone that gets below it will uh, uh, will take the full damage. Uh, so. Well, it's a normal roll, is it? Uh, it's a normal Don't... save, yeah, yeah. A normal yeah. save, yeah. So okay. twelve damage then. Uh, on that one, uh, oh, down to four hit points. Modius, you're halving the damage and halving it. Uh, no, you don't halve fire damage. Sorry, yeah. So yeah, you're halving the damage uh, of twenty-five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so on that my, one, uh, so... so mine's uh, eleven, is it? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. So that's all. Uh, all done on that one so that is that is done and uh, how, how much damage did it do uh well if it, you if you were if you were doing if you got fully hit by it it would have been 25 oh i see sorry i rolled a 22 so i was getting confused so i yeah i, I take off 12 then yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um so yeah but it is used its turn to do all of that um but it is done in the moment uh on that front um Vulcan, yeah, Vulcan is uh, sort of uh, looking on. Uh, Kira is sort of pleading eyes, looking at looking at this, and uh, uh, he's sort um, of like actually, looking sorry, at, ahead. Mm -hmm. um, when Cal gets hit by that fire, I think he can he can do a little. Um, oh yeah, no, yeah, oh, okay. absolutely, yeah. If you've got a party trick. Well, uh, put the party so. trick in the thing. Yeah, if it's take, if it's something like on taking damage, uh, it's definitely a, it's definitely a thing. Okay. Uh, when you take damage from a creature within within ten feet uh, of you, you can use your reaction. Uh, five, ten. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's technically Ooh. just on the outskirts of ten feet. Um, uh, you can make it force it the creature to make a strength saving throw on a mm. on a failure. It takes two d eight four. Right. Okay. So doesn't this thing get disadvantage on an attack from me? Or uh, not it's, it's not not an, not an an area effect, Silas. Unless yeah, you, yeah, 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 that's the yeah. problem. Not. Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely worth that, worth knowing on that front. Uh, okay, I'm going to say yeah, yeah it's a little bit wishy washy because of the distance, but I'm going to give it to you, Cal, uh, as this okay. is going on and. Thank you. Uh, we're going to say saves, and it's got to make a strength save. Uh, we'll see how it's going to do. Um, uh, it will take... Uh, it, it gets 90. Uh, so that's Vulcan. Mm. That's no good. Uh, oh, Vulcan. Uh, one second. Let's get the actual cult token we need. Uh, and it gets, a, it gets a 17. So, yeah, he's above it, but he will take... Uh, he will take seven of that damage instead of the full, okay. full amount. So, yeah, Ooh, so it's sort of like... Plastic. So it's like uh, this flame sort of erupt and uh, wrap around Cal for a moment, and then it sort of like uh, it gets blasted. It, 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 it gets blasted back towards one of the heads as uh, as this is all going on. Um, with a crack. With a crack as uh, as this is all going on. Uh, Vulcan, uh, yeah, is is sort of uh, is sort of looking on as all this is going on. Um, but yeah, he's just yeah, you can see he's just in a bind. 
and, and you don't know why. Um, he is done. Heliod, round to you. Okay, I will try and heal everyone, including myself. Um, prayer of healing. Yeah, absolutely. So six creatures of your choice. So they, they can all get healed as you uh, for 16. That's no problem. So that's everybody gains 16. Oh, wow. Nice. That's pretty pretty damn potent. Right, that's, yeah. That's 43. Considering this can take one person out in one hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to sort of wheel around to Vulcan again. And um, I say, Vulcan, you can see what's happening in our hour of need. Um, you can either, you've got to help us or or else maybe I've been praying to the wrong god and uh, or pray to somebody else who you may not want to see. Oof. Okay, yeah. make, a, make a persuasion yeah. check. See how you do. Uh, <laughs> do the gods like that kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but make the persuasion check all the same. Twenty. Okay. Ooh. There is a uh, an anger in his eyes, as well as kind of a uh, yeah. There was definitely an, uh, a look as well of of something. Uh, he lived. You're not sure in the moment, but your is words. Are, yeah. No, you, you don't know, Ooh. but there. Is, Maybe ang he's angry for some reason, um, but you don't know all the ins and outs. Um, okay, yeah. Helio, do you, are you moving? Are you staying put? What, what are you thinking? Uh, yeah, I better shift it a little bit. Or, uh, don't be bloody this thing, would it? Does it look like it's sort of taken so, a few some of the Some of the heads look worse than others. Uh, it definitely looks like it's injured. Um, you, I wouldn't say it looked like it was on death's door either no, but it's going to take uh, a few rounds it, 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 it is a okay. giant uh boss monster uh is the best way of putting it so yeah um but yeah okay heliod okay. has moved uh let's bring this round to the dog uh now with no longer sight of its uh of its enemy uh that has feared it the fear has been cleared it will come running back uh, but it, that has got uh, a bit of time before anything else will kick in so it's done its movement uh, Kira will carry on singing in the top of the round and then Cal, it's round to your turn Okay, let's give it another blast uh, 22 for 11, uh, uh, absolutely that hits then... Nice. 19 okay. for 14. <laughs> keep blasting nice. the fur off of this, <laughs> singeing more of this this horrible creature as the Die! as this is going on. Um, yeah, this is this is the the biggest creature you guys have ever fought in that respect. So yeah, okay. So uh, it's uh, that is done. That dog is dead. Modius, it is round to your turn. It's uh, it's like the dog is it from uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> it's, it's it's as big. So. It's as big. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna great weapon master using the great axe. So I'll I'll hit it. I'll tap it now on my screen. So you do it now. Yeah. You? No problem. Okay. You go for it. So, okay. See how you do. Hmm. Oh. No, not and so much. Oh, got something there. Uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah, I put, it's never happened before. I brought up another, another window. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll do it for you. I'll, I'll do it for you, matey. Here we go. Incoming. Yeah, you uh, do it. Sorry, man. Uh, 16, uh, 16 to, to hit this time. Uh, so that is uh, another 16 damage with your first one. And then I'm assuming yep. you great. And then I'll hit it again with Great Weapon Master and my Great Axe. Yep, which would miss, but you can re-roll with Kira. Can re -roll. Yeah, please, mate. And bringing us to a 22 for another 17. So uh, everyone's just watching Modius, like, hacking into this <laughs> giant hide of this creature. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> but it, it, it's literally he's grappling it so it's like it's it one of the heads is literally lifting him off the ground now and as he's still <laughs> hammering at it <laughs> this is all going on um it's just it's just a big beastie that's the problem uh, I'm going to try and wrestle this beast again. That's why for my um. My I mean, well, you, you, you've technically already got it grappled, so it's all it is already it is already grappled. Successful. Oh uh, no, you didn't succeed. It, it was slightly no, above yeah, it, wasn't it? Uh, the Sorry. The second one was a was a crit, wasn't it? But I can because I I rolled it. Somehow I managed to roll it. That's can right. I roll again? Yes, you um, can. You can try I again be able on to do it this end. So I'll try again. Yeah, you try but, it on if, that front. By grappling it, do I get the impression that I could stop it doing like a fire breathing? Mm, again, no, it's not. Doesn't quite work like that. But yeah, it, you certainly can. No. You can lower its speed to nothing if that makes sense. Um, but the other thing is that uh, I can't move it back. Okay, I'm gonna. Just try and do that then now. Uh, might help. Uh, unfortunately, this time it rolled a twenty. Yeah, it's uh, a big beastie. It's a it? big beastie. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, it's, yeah. You you look tiny. <laughs> you're like one of the heads, yeah. as, uh, you're, or you're wrapped around one of the heads as this is all going on. Um, but yeah, you guys are keeping it uh, keeping it under under thing at the moment. But Silas uh, okay. it is round to your turn. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Sure, so what attack it is then. I'm hoping I've got his attention away from you, mate. Uh, with a 23 for 5, you definitely hit Silas. Okay, I will Divine Smite again. Uh, level 1, obviously. Yeah, yeah you're, you're running, out of, uh, running out of juice. Uh, for another 11, 11 on top. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, nice. And your second yeah. attack? Hit as well. Uh, mm-hmm. He definitely does. Uh, Fourteen again. That will hit. Uh, no, sorry, that would uh, that would miss. But you could re-roll with Kira. Sorry. Yeah, re-roll. re-roll. Uh, it's a crit. Turning it into a crit. Hey, very nice. Okay, very I'll nice. Smite that. I wish I hadn't used my level twos, but hey. Hey, well, yeah, you've got to make your choices, uh, haven't you? Do it. Does it take into account the crit? Uh, probably not, but I'll double it in the, in the moment, so that's fine. Uh, so 28, very nice. It's definitely looking injured now, uh, as this is going on. Uh, okay. Okay. Very good. And, um, you, yeah, you're staying that's put. Fine, fine. Um, yeah, no, stay no, put. no bonus action you're going to try or anything? I don't think I've got any bonus Oh, yeah, action. no, sorry, your, your lay in hand is an action, isn't it? Sorry, I keep yeah. forgetting you on that front. Okay, the Cerberus. Uh, right, we're going to re-roll to see if it regains the breath weapon. Let's see how that's going to do. And it rolls a one, so it does not regain the breath weapon uh, on that front. Okay, so the first of the bite attacks from the young Cerberus is going to be on Silas for the first one. Let's see how that's going to do. I'm assuming a 26 will hit for 13 piercing and 5 fire damage for you, Silas. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you did heal. You, he you healed us for 16, didn't you? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's me down to 2. Yeah, it's me down to 2 now. Okay, okay. And then the second attack is against Modius. Let's see how that's going to do. Uh, I'm assuming a 23. Three for eleven uh, piercing and, and one five. fire, so five piercing uh, and one fire. Five plus one to so six. Yeah. Uh, on that front, and yeah. then the and then the last attack, one and oh, a hang two. On, hang on. Uh, oh, does it? It doesn't matter if it got disadvantage, does it? Uh yeah, Ooh, yeah. Well, next, it, there is it, another attack now coming. Yeah, in, there's right? another there's another attack coming in now. Oh, disadvantage uh, this one. Oh, well, it's going to be one yeah, and a two it's... would be Modius, and three and a four will be Silas. So it depends on who it's going for. Uh, that's on yeah, that but front. I would have. I have to select it before it happens, doesn't it? Yes. Before the attack is before made. the before the attack for all uh, yeah, comes I would out. Have selected obviously the the first one. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, this is coming your way, Silas. As this is coming in oh, but, no. uh, on that one, and uh, oh, wow. I'm assuming a twenty for thirteen piercing and six fire damage oh, will uh, oh. will oh. do the trick. I don't know what my what, what's my. Thingy? What's your AC? 19, 19 yeah, AC, 19. yeah. Oof. Uh, so wow, close. Things in all the things, and all the numbers. You don't get to yeah. re-roll. It's, yeah. yeah. it's a big beastie. Oh, it's a big beastie. That's me on the ground, then. I'm down. Okay, so you're unconscious. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you go. You go down unconscious yeah. uh, in the moment. 
Uh, that is the third attack from the Cerberus. So the Cerberus is done. Uh, Vulcan is uh, uh, is looking around and uh, he goes, oh, uh, I can't attack it, but I can I can help. And he sort of raises his hand up into the air uh, and sort of like glowing fire sort of appears in uh, in his hand and then it sort of shoots out from from his uh from his hand and lands on each of the people's weapons that are awake so modi is your axe uh suddenly <laughs> ignites in fire uh as this is all going on uh, and nice. he- yeah heliod your uh, your weapon as well will uh, will be the same uh, in the moment uh, I know you've got like a mace or something on you, but yeah, they they they, they all uh, that will light that will light up. Cal, you have something, don't you? Uh, but obviously, it's not uh, as useful. Dagger. Yeah, one of your daggers lights up in flames as uh, as this is going on. Um, it's, but it's as much as I can do. As he sort of steps back as uh, as and sort of gives us sort of a a sort of a smirk to Kira from a uh, from a side. Uh, Vulcan's turn done. Heliod, round to you. Um, if I heal up, heal again in a similar manner as I did before, will that uh, add hit points to Silas as well? Yep. If you, as long as you've got the magic to do it, and you have, uh, and you choose creatures, you can choose him. That is that is acceptable okay. to do. In that case, I'll cast a prayer of healing again for our whole party. Twelve. Okay. So yeah, each of you gets twelve hit points, Silas. <gasps> Uh, coming round again uh, as this is going on, uh, and as you look, uh, as as you pick up your sword, Silas, it it, it engulfs in uh, engulfs in fire uh, as uh, as this is all going on. So I'm awake with twelve hit points. Yeah. You're awake with twelve hit points in the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Is, is his um is his sword? Yeah, his sword, his sword his sword is now lit in, lit in fire and the as the same. Yes, yeah. Nice. Uh, as uh, that goes on. So what does the what does the fire do? You have no idea. you have no idea. <laughs> okay, <sorry. laughs> uh, as this is all going on. So yeah, Heliod, you've done the he- prayer of healing. Anything else on your turn? Um, maybe do I have one of the healing potions with me as well? Uh, you can say you do if you wish. Yeah. That, that would be yeah. another one of the ones. That, if, that I, are... if I do, yeah, I'll just sort of uh, roll it on the floor in the direction of Silas. Okay, sort of throwing it his way. Okay, uh, uh, and that's my turn. Done. Got that? Thank you, Heliod. <laughs> Welcome, mate. <laughs> okay, the other I'm bleeding a lot over here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah. There's definitely a lot of there's I'm definitely a lot of bleeding I'm, uh, going on. For you. <laughs> uh, right, the other death dog will run into you, Modius, and will try and try and bite you uh for 23 which will which will definitely which will definitely hit you uh, as this is going on and uh and you must make a constitution saving throw if you can roll one uh what the hell yeah, i you, thought this thing was um it was until it ra- ran away enough to be out of sight of you. Uh, it has to be. It has to break it and then come back. So it's taken three rounds to do that. Oh. And that's why it's not been on you. <laughs> does it get? Does it? So that's uh, one and done, is it? That spell? Is yeah, one, be? one and done. Yeah, as, until yeah. it breaks and then once it's broken, uh, then uh, yeah, okay. then then it's the thing. But it served its purpose. It kept it off you for three rounds. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, Modi, so you, are you right if I roll that Constitution saving for throw for you, uh, Colin? Is that is that right? Uh, one sec, uh, one sec, mate. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, keep things going. Yeah, please, mate. Uh, so yes, for a, uh, you roll a nineteen. Oh, so uh, you think when the when the creature bit you, it was it was trying to poison you, but uh, yeah, you managed to uh, uh, you're made of sterner stuff. So uh, the the Excellent. first attack. The first attack only does three piercing damage that you halve, and then the second bite attack incoming uh, with, with a 19 for another four piercing damage that will be halved to two. Uh, so that. Uh, so you know, three so and. Three and four ooh. on that one, and then the uh, the dog ends up uh, having to move into that, into that space. Yeah, four damage total uh, on that front, and uh, that dog is done. Bringing us back to the top of the turn, Kira is continuing to sing Cal. 
Round to you. Uh, I'm going to launch a two barrages at this small little dog that's come around. Okay, yeah, definitely. So, uh, you, you guys keep cutting off. I've got a freaking car alarm going off next to me. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. I've got to close the windows. Uh, oh, 13 man. will hit. Uh, that's for 12. Okay. And the uh, the next one, yeah, you, well, the natural one, you can't. Uh, I can't understand why that's that a, one. Why is that one a one? Uh, what's that then? How's that? How's that worked out? Uh, oh, you, you the, no, no, it was uh, it was okay. The um, the D fours kicked in and brought the brought the number up a little bit to on that one. But yeah, you natural one failed it. Um, oh, so okay. that, that, that's that's fine. So yeah, you missed so with the second one. one. Second one um, was a fail. Uh, I will step over here. Okay. No problem. Kira is continuing to sing. Not a problem. Uh, that one is dead. Modius, you've now got the large dog that you're grappling with and a smaller one right next to you as well. Uh, but obviously, yeah, two, one bigger oh, target than the other. There, uh, I'm going to hit the one that's doing the most damage. You are, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cal. You can reroll. Um, we, we forget about Kira, I'm, so I'm, I'm you just... go for it. Yeah. Uh, 16 for 7. That's absolutely no problem. I've got, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Thank you. No, that's okay. Yeah, we, we keep forgetting she's there, but she, that's what she's all for. Uh, so yeah, Modius, yes, yeah, so you're going to carry on attacking the, the big, uh, the big dude with your now flaming... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack the big dude, so, um, flaming great axe. You had to roll from somebody. Yeah, well. that's okay. No problem. No problem. Um, uh, so uh, reckless raging with his great weapon master um, skill. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and got, we're still blessed, I think. Aren't we? uh, um, you are still so, blessed. Yep. So you're getting, yeah. it's a 17 for 21 uh, damage for them mm -hmm. from that, plus the fire um, damage. Let me just get that for you. One second. Uh, let me just find, remember the number. So it's extra 2d6 on top. Okay. Plus an extra an extra 10 damage on top. Although it doesn't look to be nice. ab absolutely effective because it's fire, but it does it does seem to be burning a bit. Okay, cool. I'll hit it again. Absolutely. Um, no problem. Uh, the second the one the uh, is a 21, but for 14 slashing damage as this is going on. So okay. a little less, it's but you still a, hack into the side a, of this creature badly as it's uh, as it's going. Is it still on flame coming from it? Or is uh, there, it there, is, there, there, is, there is more flame going on. Yeah, I'll uh, add that to the uh, to the mix as well. So there's another eight coming from uh, coming from Vulcan halved. Okay, but yeah, cool. that is coming uh, in. So that's, uh, and I'll try and um, grapple it once uh, again, yeah. Grapple it again. Did I roll that? Or did you roll that? Uh, you rolled, you rolled that, yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, okay, um, see if I can grab it. Let's see how it's going to do. Silas. Oh, it's a big beastie. It rolls a 26, oh. unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. I can't the... re roll. Can I re roll? I can't re roll. I can't re roll. Uh, uh, you, can, you can, you can, you can okay. re-roll it. Yeah, if you, uh, yeah unless you've, you, you didn't use your, you didn't use, you didn't use Kira for anything, did you? No. No, no, no. So yes, you can. You can re-roll your athletics yeah. if you wish. There you go. It's a long shot, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, uh, not, not quite. Well, not quite on that one. You have to be above twenty, wouldn't it? I think. Or yeah, yeah. The way you rolled yeah. that as well, that would have been. Uh, yeah, that's that's rolled you another two instead of a one. So I can't tell. But yeah, it's. Yeah, uh, yeah it's not worked out. Uh, okay, oh, but yeah, this yeah this thing okay. definitely looks uh, incredibly uh, on, on the on the ropes after all of that would be the best way of describing it. Silas, round okay. to you. Yeah, so you are uh, yeah. Short sword again. No problem. Uh, Twenty-two. You will hit for five. Okay. And I'll divine smite level one. Come on. Four. For 14, Ooh, okay. 14. Yeah, okay, so that's 14. And then 2d6. 2d6. Two, yeah, boss monster. And then nine fire damage on top. Silas, uh, that being the extra nine from there is enough to finally finish this beastie bring off beast uh, bring the yeah. bring oh, the beast down in the sure. moment as you are uh, yeah, yeah as you literally as you literally divine uh, cut through the one of the heads uh, finally as with a blast of energy uh, as uh, and then you see the giant body sort of collapse uh, uh, collapse in front of you 
So that's your first that attack. That's the slaughterer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's your first attack done, but you've obviously got a second attack left you could possibly use on this other 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 one up here if you wished. Yeah. Uh, is it is it here? Yes, this... that's it. So um... you'd, you'd have to move, but you could do it. Yeah, I'll move there. Okay, fair enough. A uh, 25 for 9, that definitely hits. And then I'll use my last Divine Smite. Okay, can you do 5 hit points worth of damage? Let's see, shall we? Yeah. Okay, Ooh. so yeah, in a show of, uh, of, uh, of power from Silas as he will kill the first one and then swiftly move around uh, and then decapitate the second one uh, as this is all going on. Awesome. And Good well done, guys. guys. You, uh, well you done. are the boss monster is down. The Cerberus is dead. As uh, as you guys rest in the moment, breathing heavily uh, as Thanks, all as, as all that's going uh, as that's all going on. Uh, and yes, yeah, you sort of like. Thanks, <sighs> Falcon. Yeah. Thanks for the blessing, the, the, the work you did. Uh, thanks for helping us out. Mm. Uh, yeah, you see Vulcans uh, sort of looking uh, looking around, uh, uh, sort of slightly we like. Uh, uh, I, I I am a god, you moron! And he sort of he moves he moves, he moves he moves forward, <laughs> and he looks he looks uh, flustered and angry, uh, and he will start moving up to Heliod as this is all going on, unless anyone gets in his way. Slap slap. <laughs> uh, everything's everything's fine. Uh, yeah, so he comes right you, up. He, he comes right up to you, Heliod, uh, on uh, on that one, uh, and he he just asks uh, out loud to you. He goes, "Did you mean what you said?" Vulcan, I knew you, you could you could do more than you were doing, um, but if you weren't going to help us, I was going to seek help from someone who w- would have helped us. Uh, if you don't intervene, Cal, he's going to try and hit him. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use my mage he, hand. He, he restored your face. <laughs> he restored your face. <laughs> I don't have to put myself in any harm and try and stop him. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you can make a strength check against uh, against Vulcan's strength if you wish. It's the same style as in the Vulcan's the... strength. Yeah, yeah, on that front. Yeah. C- can we just talk about this? Brendan, you know you all have faith in you. Uh, okay, Cal. Yeah, so you uh, you managed to uh, you managed to stop him in the moment because he rolled an eleven uh, as you sort of catch his hand as he was going to sort of to, like grab at Heliod and he's just sort of looking at Heliod and says, "You have no idea, boy, what you're saying. You're lucky that the, yeah. you're lucky that your friends here are keeping me in check." I think it's just heat of the moment, Vulcan. Just yeah. uh, he's he's just oh, hot headed. He's, he's yeah. Yeah. yeah we, Our apologies. We, let's have a stroke of Mocus. Yeah. He he wrestles free of the mage hand in the moment and uh, pulls back. Um, yeah, he looks seriously flustered by what went on there. Can I can I give him Mocus to calm calm him down a little bit? Can you give him uh, Mocus the boar? <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, no, no. He uh, yeah. He 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 is beyond. He's beyond wanting to wanting to talk right now. As he sort of uh, oh, okay. he goes stumbling off for a moment to to try and get regain his composure. Uh, he's not. He is not happy uh, in the moment. Um, but can we have? Is there anything left of this beast? Uh, a, there is a giant fucking body of uh, this beast in front of you. <laughs> anything we can salvage at all from there? Uh, you don't know, but you could. Uh, you could make a survival check and see. Uh, see what you. Uh, what you think? Ooh, survival check. 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 Survival check. Survival. No. Mm-hmm. Skill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In your skills. Yeah. Where is it? Will it work? A 19. Um, the hide would probably be the, the main thing that you would think that might be of use horns as well, uh, on that horns? one. Uh, yeah. It does have some some horns on it, but yeah, you, you but you do think that the, the hide is the big is the big winner here okay. if you can yeah, if cool. you if you can actually skin the creature and uh, to enough to make that happen if that makes sense. Um, okay. So yeah, you'd have to take a knife and a dagger, or with someone with survival skill would have to skin try and skin the hide off of this beastie and see how it would do. Um, Who's got the best survival skills here? I think me is, 
Probably you, I think. Pro probably yeah. you, but yeah, someone else might surprise me. Roll again on survival. Uh, yeah, if you want to just take a take a sort of a knife, a uh, dagger knife to it, and 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 start scanning it for a few minutes, you certainly can. Let's see how you do uh, on that one. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. Um, yeah, you're starting to do it, but you feel like you got the hang of what will work to try and skin it uh, with with a bit of time uh, as this okay. is all going on. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely no. No problem, as this is all going on. Meanwhile, uh, the rest of you, uh, uh, you're, you start looking around at the space. You can feel uh, there is heat further off uh, coming from one some, from one of these uh, spaces. Also, another tunnel here. You can sense sort of fresh air coming in from uh, um, from over that way. Um, obviously, breathing heavily in the moment after all of what's gone on as uh, uh, as Modius is is skinning this beastie. You're you're occupied for a little bit, oh, okay. Modius, as you're uh, as you're doing this. But the uh, the others the others have got free time uh, as I this is going why on. That beast was in here. Hmm. Is it dark in this room, or is it light? At the uh, there there is a bit of light in here. Yeah, yeah. There's light from uh, from a, from a torch overhead, like a magical torch overhead that's giving you a bit of light. But you can also tell that there is light further off coming from both of the two tunnels. Uh, that are off in front of you guys, um, but that's that's just coming from yeah either from a glow or from uh, um, from something else you're not sure on yet. If that makes can sense. I, I hate to um, say this, but my, my we may need to rest before we move further. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of skin on this. Yeah, it's a big beastie, Modi. So it will take you a few minutes to uh, carry uh, on, Modi. We're not uh, going anywhere. Actually, yes, Silas. Did you want to drink that um, healing potion while we've got? A little bit of time. Um, or you can use your lay on hands if you wish as well. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Cal, uh, you you roll very poorly, but yeah, all you can tell is what you got is there's a there's a glow of light coming from that one, and then there is mm -hmm. fresh air coming from that one. Hmm. I wonder whether we, how many potions have we got left? Was it two? Yeah, two, yeah. yeah I think it's two that are left. I believe I can see the forge or something. I'm gonna lay on. I'm gonna use my lay on hands. No oh, worries. You can definitely. Risky. You on, can definitely do. Hit points. Apparently, I've got twelve hit points. Um. Well, yeah, you're in charge of your numbers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lay on hands. So I'm gonna go up twenty-five. I think we should keep the healing potion back, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That's no problem. For the final the final plaster. Kira is uh is talking with Vulcan. They're uh Heliod. they're 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 chatting at the back for a little bit as this is all going on. Heliod, I think you should, you know um Apologize. maybe not upset the god. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but um if he wasn't gonna help us I was gonna have to ask for help from Another do, god who might have helped us. Do you not know how to lie? <laughs> <laughs> just well, just it's... say, no, I was only, you know, I was just... Obviously wasn't going to worship another god. I, I, but... I was going to I was gonna pray to his son, Pythor. That was my that was my plan. Maybe Pythor would have helped. And I, know, oh. I know Vulcan doesn't get on with Pythor, but... Being does does, does he know that dog. that's who you were talking about? I don't think he does. No, I don't maybe think he telling. thought you were looking to, you know, worship some god of sacrifice or something evil. Do you think I should talk to him? I think I think maybe try to um, smooth things over with the old guy. Okay, I'll, I'll wander off and ah, hi, Kara. Um, Vulcan, listen, um, when I said I was going to pray to somebody that you may not want to be here, I was only going to pray to one of the five gods, of course, they are who I worship, but I was I was thinking about maybe asking your son to get involved, Pythor, um, as you wouldn't help us, I thought he might. Um, yeah, Vulcan calmed down a little bit and he says, um, I got heated in the moment, I'm sorry uh, for that, but... Uh... I thought maybe in the moment you were speaking of the Titans, not my son. No, 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 no. I, I, I've 
prayed my whole life to I've devoted my life to the five gods uh, and only the five gods so you, I, I I would never um, praise the titans obviously no it's only the, the five of you who I will worship you know that yeah I, deep down I do deep down I do look um, we, the, the, you've got to understand what's going on here a little more Heliod that creature was sent by one of the titans that would have been from Lutheria. And because it's from one of the Titans, that kind of binds what me and my group can do. I could literally have killed it in a moment, like my son could have killed it in a moment. But in doing so, we would have broken the oath of peace within a moment, within it, within it, within it, within, any, within, within a, a blink of an eye, and then the fates would have dragged us away. Do you understand that gods have made pacts and they cannot they cannot be seen to fight against each other without causing problems? No, I know all about pacts. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm sorry it's all so secret and all over the place, but uh, you got to trust that we are doing as much as we can do. There are, but there are lines that we can't cross. And if we do... I understand. I understand. Yeah. If we do, well... It would be... It, it would be terrible for all. I know, I know. But um, help, uh, as you've shown and as Kira shows, it it, it doesn't have to be direct help. Um, just... Yeah, there are powers. there are fine lines. That's definitely true. I'm not disadmitting that. Let's, let's uh, call it guidance. Uh, yeah? Guidance. That, that's... that's uh, so my daughter keeps trying to convince me uh, that I'm, I'm trying to get used to that. But I would ask both of you, as you're close by right now, whatever you do, don't let Modius ever call out for his father like the way Heliod did from, uh, or was going to do. Oh. Oh. Okay. Why, promise why promise me you try and stop him. Certainly. A hundred percent. We would. We wouldn't. We wouldn't allow that. Because unlike but, what just happened there, I don't think Pythor would be able to stop himself in the moment, and he would doom everybody if he had to. I see. Hmm. Okay. Yes, we. Uh, we we accept that. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's move on. I've got any sandwiches? Anyone got any sandwiches here? Uh, yeah, Kira will distract you with a sandwich, uh, Modius, as you come running back with this the hide of this Ooh, creature it's as that's going on. Work. It's bloody hard, isn't it? Oh, it looks good, though. I'm sure it'll be useful. Ooh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. Modius, must you always think about your stomach? <laughs> oh, well, someone's got to feel it. 100%. So, okay, yeah, as that all goes on, uh, yeah, you guys uh, uh, have, your, have that little <laughs> moment. Cow just glances down at this ruined mess on the floor that Modosius has made. Absolutely, he, he's done a re he's done skill, skin dog. he's done a he's done a reasonable job of removing the uh, removing the hide, but the body is a mess. Uh, is the is the best way of putting it. I don't think that's going to be uh, getting up anytime soon. <laughs> hey, Cow, look, it looks like looks like the mess you make after a night out, and we go to a kebab shop. <laughs> the Greek kebab shop, yes. Uh, right, okay. So, yeah, with that all done, then. What's uh, going? Okay, well, we have two corridors here. I'm guessing Vulcan probably knows the actual way to go, but down this one, dead ahead of me. I, I, I definitely do. That one will be the forge that way. That's and that the one forge, that one will lead out uh, oh, down to where the docks are. He says, Ooh, okay. go to the forge. To the forge we go then. Hello. Um, maybe Medusius, you might want to go in front of me in case I get hit by something large and scary. Yeah. Probably. That's all right. I will. will I will assume Modius is uh, is up front as uh, as all this is going <laughs> yeah. on. Uh, right. Okay. So the rest of you, you're all sort of following uh, following into this new. Into this new space. Uh, Vulcan and Kira will be taking up the rear. 
Yes. Oh, excuse the expression. Wow. Uh, yes, it's uh, an amazing sight. Uh, oh, that's a hell of a hell of a space ahead of you as you uh, as you make your way in, Cal. So yeah, I'll move you over so you're in a in a space that makes sense. Can I put a torch on? You, there's an absolutely oh. no need in this space. Uh, it's as bright as day as you're looking around. Uh, so one second, once you get once you get in here, I'll uh, bring the rest of them in. Uh, yeah, a very large um, lava-filled floor space uh, up ahead. There is a giant, uh, Modi. Uh, there is a giant cauldron at one end oh, of the yeah. space, uh, and there seems to be a splutter of lava that seems to be making its way out onto a uh, onto a track. Um, it seems to be weak at the moment, as in uh, not a great flow, but there is lava dribbling along this uh, along this space. There seems to be lava below. And a, uh, up here on this uh, far end is a large pedestal area where there seems to be some sort of a slightly broken anvil. And there looks to be, under the stairs, um, what looks to be like multiple workshops. Uh, there is also, off to one side here, a what looks to be a contraption that looks like a big bright red button uh, as this is all going on. What, what's a panel gap here? Mm -hmm. uh, there seems to be a bunch of steps here, but Modius, as you oh, get to yeah. about there... Uh, what, a very what? large spider webs, Moody. Yeah, I, there, uh, there are spider webs, I mean, but when you get to a bit there... Sorry, yeah. mate. I thought, you, I thought you were further down, so I walked down. Sorry, ah, so yeah, as, as the others start to catch up with him. Uh, you get to about there, and uh, what happens is that a creature, is the best way oh, of putting no. it, uh, oh, no. bobs up from the... Uh, bobs up from inside of this lava cauldron that you saw at the top and sort of mm -hmm. um, splashes up and sort of stares out at you uh, from from this sort of cauldron uh, looking at, uh, at you and it says Hello Hello there Hello Bob yeah. Evening You are new um, Are you our surface dwellers? Yes. You could say that, yeah. How this have you home? how have you got here? Uh, we walked through that tunnel back there. Unharmed, interesting. Yes. And in answer to your question, this has been my home for a long, long time. Are you trapped here? We don't plan on taking your home. He says, um, yes, I have been trapped here for a very long time. Do you oh. want to be trapped here? No, I do not. I wish to be free. How can we help free. you? It says, um, the dwarves came here a long time ago, making this forge. And as the culmination of their works, they managed to incant a spell that brought me here. I did not understand their words and contracts would would bind me to this place as they did, but they have. And I, I have been trapped here ever since. They promised to free me, but they never did. Perhaps we can find a way to free you. Did you know how you can be freed? Um, he says, my contract would be buried uh, or hidden within the vaults below. Uh, and he sort of points on that one. And it says, I would be very grateful to anyone that would be willing to free me at this point. I have much to do, much to get on with. And being free of this place would be very useful. I'm sure we can find a way to aid you, friend. This is a good day. How would we get down to the vaults? Uh, it sort of points to the doors, uh, the doors below. Uh, as this is all going on. But first, we would like you to help us reforge some armor and weapons. Ah, you would have In me. Your time. You would here, have me. Have you learned how to use this. Thing? I I powered this forge. I know how I am the only one that can make this forge work. 
You are indeed is, mighty. Is yes. there a Vulcan still with us um, He's, at the moment? He's, funnily enough, hiding over the, at the back at the moment. <laughs> I was going to ask you, actually. Yeah, help yeah, us, gonna, yeah let's, let, well, let's not, back let's back not bring him up. Help us reforge our... Our weapons. Our weapons and armour, and we will help you. And we can help you. To be free. Hmm. I, um, more I, promises, more bindings. Like, yeah, I, you know, I was going to go for a bit more of a friendly approach rather than a, you know. Oh, well, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> how about this? How, how about we make one uh, a deal, deals at a time? You free me, I guarantee I will relight the forge. Anything other than that, well, that would have to be on negotiation. So how do you expect for us to free you? The contract will be in the building below. I'm sure uh, by finding it and destroying it, that would be enough. Is there anything down there guarding the contract? There has not been anything in here in centuries. Oh, I forgot uh, my bag. One second, I'll go grab my bag. My bag is up here. Why can't, One second. If there's nothing guarding it, why can't you just go down and destroy it yourself? I, you cannot. I cannot break my own contract. That does not. The magic doesn't work like that. Who's the contract with? Vulcan. If it if it's with a three-headed the dog, the, the heretic then, Vulcan just, I and you know yeah the, the contract the, probably and, uh, he says <laughs> the heretic <laughs> Vulcan <laughs> and the dwarves of this place placed me under contract. If I was to ever say? see that man again, I would kill him on sight. Vulcan, Vulcan, yes. Uh oh. Um, there's a large fiery creature in there. Yeah, the forge mm. keeper. Yes. Yeah. Now. If we were to... Let's just put it out there as a possible idea. <laughs> if we were to free this creature... Mm -hmm. um, he, and it's promised to help us, you know, do, do, how do you think that would go down? I think it would be very happy with that. I, my problem is, is yeah. what retribution is it going to want is the problem. See, we would never have left it here if we had any chance. I would have freed it myself. But Lutheria and her man, people took this place over. Uh, we had to run. We had to leave. And we have not been able to make it back until... You. Ah, okay. So, you didn't deliberately leave this poor creature here. It was uh, a state of the others taking over. A casualty of war, I'm afraid. Indeed. And he does seem, yeah, he seems genuinely like we were on good terms, but I'm sure she's probably pissed with me now. I could understand that. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Just uh, stay hidden. Stay yeah. hidden. Don't okay. Cal, he grabs you by the shoulder for two seconds and he says, Lutheria is the goddess of dreams. She may have poisoned this creature's mind. I don't know that for certain. But it is a possibility. Oh. Would there be a way to check such a thing? I don't know. And he sort of Damn it. pulls his pulls back from that, uh, like he's saying more than he should. But he, uh, yeah, he says what he says. Right. Okay. One second. Uh, yeah. So the creature carries on. So the tablet should be in one of the rooms below. Uh, Yes, uh, if I'm fully in agreement, I will relight the forges if you are willing to break and destroy that. Okay, can I use divine sense to detect good and evil? Uh, yeah, absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. Um, yeah, so if we bring up the rules of divine sense, uh, until the end of the... Uh, you can sense anything affected by the hallow spell, you know, the, lo the location of any celestial fiend or undead, um, which he doesn't count as any of those. Um... Uh, da, 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 uh, yeah, you don't you don't get the sense that the area is desecrated or anything like that. Um, however, the um, that the area at the far back where the anvil is uh, definitely comes up as consecrated ground. Uh, so that that is like glowing brightly to you, Silas, as this is all going on. Um, but yeah, you're not getting any sense of 
this thing is evil in the moment, if that makes sense. Right, okay. Okay, nobody touched the anvil. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's it's asked that you will, if you will, you go, uh, will you destroy this uh, this thing and free it, and in return, it would relight the fires for the forge in with it with its freedom is what it's offering at we, the moment. I'm assuming that we need it to relight the fires to fix our armor, that, which is the reason why we've come here. Partly, yeah. yeah. You, you, your your reason was to make ha have this place make you weapons for the next war, if that makes sense, or for this for the next. You know, I to, build you up. Needs to be fixed. You do. Yeah, you is, you yeah. already you already have two items that you need fixed. But this is a forge, a place that can make stuff. If that makes sense. So if it's relit, it may items. have more. Maybe. Uh, yeah. You don't know all the ins and outs of that yet. You have been told that this place will be able to forge magical weapons and items. Is what you know. And can it forge them without the the thing? You don't know the ins and outs of that. You've got to assume it's got to be turned on. Uh, would be would, uh, on that one. Whether or not what, it needs what, this being to do anything more. Cow, maybe you've lost your bag again. And, um, need to check. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. uh, uh Modi. Yeah. Um. You've left your sandwiches in the corridor. Oh bugger. <laughs> um. I could Excuse me one minute, Bob. And uh, yeah, the creature's uh, looking on it and sort of looks at you, Cal, and says, Are you speaking for this group now? Um, not, not at present. We are going to have a discussion and see if we can find a good way to get you uh, out of this, this current uh, predicament. I have made my offer. And indeed, Brenda. indeed. Where, where would you normally... It's got a question. Hi, Modius, what do you want? Yeah, uh, this Bob over here, and it bobs his head up and down, I think. The, for, um, the Forge we, Keeper, yes. That's the Forge Keeper. If, if we release him, can we still forge the great weapons that you bestowed upon us? If it turns the... If it can make the... Relight the fires here, uh, then I could then use your hammer that you've got to to make weapons, yes. We're just re We're just releasing from the contract, not releasing him. Yeah. Yeah. If he, if he disappears, then it, we, we, it's still kind of forgeable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, just a quick question then. Uh, when we release him, where's a good place for you to be? Uh, it says, I will... I'll... I'll... I'll say my piece when it's time. If you if you are if you feel like you're going to free her, I'll uh, I'll I'll pay my dues. Okay. Well, I guess there's a reason we're here as well, isn't there? To, to, to maybe free her anyway. So maybe that's part of the. Mm, you're here to make the... you're here to make this place work again. Oh, mighty Forge Master, do you have a name? Uh, Fortier is my name. At Vapotia. least, I believe that is what my name was. It has been a long time I have been trapped here. I'm sorry to hear of this. Yes, the dwarves. The cursed dwarves. Well, there was actually, um... The, the, uh... The dwarves were forced out of this area by another force Troglodytes. that took over. The troglodytes, indeed. They killed many dwarves, and they were unable to get back in. The dwarves the, tried to save you. The troglodytes are the, in the local taverns about the attempts to get back in and rescue, but no all one lies, to make you alive. all lies. You don't think the goddess of dreams has not told me what really happened? She has visited me many times in my dreams, telling me of how the dwarves gave this place up and have left me to rot. Ah, oh, the goddess of dreams, otherwise known as a. Uh, Oh yes, the manipulator. Yeah. Yes. Mm, oh, make a make no. a make a persuasion check, Cal. Oh damn! Mm. Uh, you sense, sense in the moment. Uh, it kind of steps back in its in, in, in sort of in the bowl and thinks for a moment and says, oh, "Your words may have some truth to it." I have been here alone for a long time, and I have only had her to listen to in my dreams. 
what she says may, may not always be reality. Yes, yes, mm. I've heard. She is she's a tried to, of the craft. She's tried to hamper every step of our journey to try and come here. Why is that? We're here to potentially right. free you. Let's get you. Let's get she's you out the one there that's there tried to stop us. Hmm. And yeah, you see, it's it's definitely more uh, listening now than it was. Uh, it was very dismissive, um, but you get the sense now that, um, yeah, those words have definitely hit home uh, as you've been saying okay. that. It's reevaluating uh, its Mo thoughts. Modi, one second before you go down there. Maybe maybe we can rest here before we we head down. I mean, uh, it's literally a Cal. You can see it's an open room under this under oh, this okay. space. There's nothing in there, barring uh, shelves and bits. Tell us. Uh, we what is it? Rest before we go down. No, it's, it's just a room. It's just a room it. under here. There's nothing in it, as far as there's nothing in it. Um, Apart from a contract. Well, what do we need? What would we need to do to release you from this contract? Just, just bring it up here, and we would place it upon the anvil and break it. The Same anvil bit. is the one thing that can undo magical weapons. It can create and destroy. Hmm. So we put the contract on there, and then it releases you. No, uh, then, then I would, I would be freed. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> How do we know, Vatir, whether the contract will turn into a contract monster when we get down there? Like a mimic contract. <laughs> I, 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 yes, I, I have no guarantee. I, I, then it would not be my contract. It would be some other beast. But I have, I have not seen anything. I have not seen anything like that in here. And I have been right. here a long time. Let's get this contract for you, shall we? Uh, so uh, yeah. So how, how can we bind Word your promise? Us. How can we bind your promise to us? I will it never is. I will never make another binding promise in this land. I know what that means. Do you think I wished to stay here for 500 years? You take me at my it, word or nothing else. Yes, but it's your yes, contract. It's no, man. It's your it's contract it. to us. Your, your, your I will never ever sign us. another contract. It's uh, getting angry as you say it. Okay, see Please you later. Contract. I'm out of it. Please <laughs> contract. Let's go. I think we Let's should go, go guys. Go. I don't think we should no, all go I'm, down there. It could be a I'm trap. I'm doing it. Uh, okay. We're not going to pour boiling hot lava on all of us as we all go down there. <laughs> good. Good luck there, Carl. Yeah, Carl. Yeah. It. So yeah, you, uh, you you make the investigation check for me to find it, but that's it's a low DC. That's no problem. Okay. Unless so anyone tries it, yeah. to stop you. Um. Oh, no. Carl. You know what, what you're doing, mate? Yes, he, he's given us his word that he will help How us. How did that and... woman in that bar that took your wallet? Look, I'm a very perceptive chap. And, and the other man in that other bar that also took your wallet. No, and no, 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 the no, other no, he, man no, he didn't take who my stole wallet. your I dog. I lost my wallet. And that wasn't my dog. <laughs> well, was it not? No, I'm, I'm just dog. saying. Sometimes when you agree things with people, it doesn't turn out. And this guy is a bit bigger than you know. Oh, you know, thingy that. Yes, you, uh, but you know. I, I have personal experience of being stuck under a contract, and I believe this chap wants to get out of it and help us. So, I'm going to help him. Oh, you saw how angry he got when we said, "Oh, can you just promise?" I don't trust him. That's fair I enough. Do. You didn't sense that he was evil, though. He, you know, he, I, there's no, there's no evil sense. Helio, Helio, how do you feel? Are you I, evil? I, I'm with you, kid. You don't ask him directly if he's evil. He, I am. Like, I am not we're evil. About truth. I am not well, are evil. You good? I am me. I am neither. See, look, he can't even tell the truth. I am I'm, absolutely. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's absolutely telling you the truth. <laughs> uh, not evil, it's not good. Where is it? Right. See? Doesn't have to be right. either. Just, just you, like that, that, that time in that tavern when that, that woman was like, ooh, yeah, I promised the world. And then, then look what happened. Yeah, she burnt down the house. And 
Yeah, it did not work out well, did it? Um, no. Give me the contract. So yeah, well, unless, unless you stop him, Modius, he takes the contract. Oh, you do it yourself, then. I'm standing over it. I, I just go, on. go and stand. Go and stand clear. Everything will be fine. You'll, you'll see in a moment. I'll tell you. Well, just remember what happened in Port Atwood. Just, just uh. Port Atwood I, uh, was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of all the dog. people in the bar. <laughs> I told you not to stick your horn there. <laughs> oh, she didn't say anything. You know. I thought it was. Right. Okay, then, Mr. Uh, Mr. Forgemaster. Oh, place placed on the anvil. Place for it you. on the anvil, and then if you strike it with any any blunt instrument, that will be enough. Oh, okay. I've got a knife nice here. Would that be enough? I'm standing to the side to try and get a uh, disadvantage attack. With, 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 the, with the pommel, well, that would probably be enough. Okay. Here's to freedom, friend. Douche! Okay, smashing down. Uh, yeah, the tablet with this contract on it. Uh, there's a blinding spark in the moment, Cal, and uh, it does it does break, uh, smashing over the uh, uh, over the uh, over the, uh, the the face of the anvil there as that all goes on. Silence, sil silence for a few moments. Nothing changes as far as you can tell in the moment, but yeah. Um, apart from the wide smile that sort of starts to appear on the on this fire creature's face as this is all going on oh, and it's sort of looking it looking at it and he says yes i can sense my freedom is now is now mine i'm so pleased thank for you. you and then it sort no, of look it, lo it sort of tilts its head around and looks around at you all and says uh, so i will relight the fires of this place one more time very well Maybe i will thanks. i will live with my bargain and you okay, see you see it will uh will dive down uh into the uh into the into the um into the bowl of this thing um this silence takes you guys for a few moments as this is all going on and uh yeah there's all the uh, weapons down the need need doing uh, at the moment there's nothing nothing going on there's just it's just silence and quiet as you're as you're looking around as this thing's disappeared uh -huh. into the live lava at the in the, for a moment um as you guys sort of wander around for a few minutes, uh, looking about in, in different bits and stuff, you suddenly start to see the lava below start to glow like incredibly brightly compared to what it was before. Uh, uh, um, juts of fire start erupting um, from around the sides of this uh, this space, sort of lifting up uh, uh, as this is going on. The cauldron of uh, lava here starts to bubble brightly uh, as this is going on, uh, the anvil starts to glow and the lava now that was in small spurts uh, starts to uh, starts to pick up in speed and pace as this this whole thing starts to liven up. Uh, you start to see uh, little uh, creatures sort of moving in and amongst the lava uh, start to appear as, uh, as this is all going on uh, and they sort of fly up and start uh, start looking out out at the flow of the lava as it's going, uh, yeah, all looking uh, much more vibrant as this is uh, as this is going on, and then the uh, the creature will pop back up uh, in the moments, and uh, it says, "And this is done. This place is redone and reforged once more. I wish you all well on your endeavors." But with my freedom thanks, now bought, friend. I will take my leave of this place and travel. I have many things to do and places to visit. Safe travels, friend. Thank you for your help. Fair enough. It sort of nods and looks around this place for one last time, and it's like, I did good here once. I will in some odd way miss it. It looks quizzically around for a moment, um, and then we'll yeah slowly start to sink into the uh, into the lava, and start to uh, disappear from sight. There you go. Now, apologies. Okay. Uh, as as all that goes on, uh, as this is all happening, uh, Vulcan will sort of step forward into the space, and uh, he looks around and says, "Well done." 
It looks like uh, you've got her to put it back online. That's what's the most important thing. And I didn't have to deal with it. That's all good as well. Yep. And he sort of seems Everything like he, nice he seems uh, he seems brusque about it. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, on that one. I'm sure, that's not going to come and bite us in the ass later. But okay. And uh, yeah, sort of... Uh, uh, he will uh, move move over and uh, he will uh, he will say, uh, Modius, I think it's time to ask the question. Uh, are you ready to give up your father's hammer for a while and let me start doing my job? Are you there, Colin? Can you hear us? Guess not. Go, B. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll probably uh, we'll go with that oh. at the moment. Is that? Uh, the end scene of all of this is, I'm going to say, Modius passing over Pythor's hammer uh, and sort of uh, uh, sort of getting Vulcan up and ready to work uh, as this is all going on. Uh, but we will deal with that next time. But you guys need to understand what the forge will be able to do for you as you have unlocked the Mithril Forge at this time. So I'm going to bring up the, uh, the sheet for you. So it can literally uh, remake new weaponry, uh, new items. It can also mm -hmm. it can also work on the items you've already collected. Uh, so uh, Vulcan is able to tell you that you he, hear me? we can hear yes, you now, yeah. Cole. Yes, you're back. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks, for, sorry. That's okay. No, yeah, I, I know it's beyond you at the moment. So all it is is that uh, yeah, uh, you've offered up the the hammer of Pythor so that Vulcan can do the work here as needed. Uh, so I've given you guys the mm -hmm. access to the sheet of what's uh, what's going on, but basically the two weapons you've got so f so far, they can be repaired each with taking a week to repair here in the in the forge, uh, or you mm -hmm. can have uh, you can have him make uh, these other items that are in the uh, that are in the list if that makes sense. So you'll you'll be able to start looking through these mm -hmm. lists and uh, think about how how this crafting uh, business and um, what you want him to work on. Uh, as you guys are going to take some time here uh, at the Mithril Forge before you will make your way off to Mitros. So uh, I think uh, this will be like a little a little bit of a time skip of about a week or two uh, before we will catch up with these guys again uh, after reclaiming the forge and having to redeal with the rest of the troglodytes. But uh, yeah, you will be able to decide amongst yourselves what items you want Vulcan to start building and in what order. Uh, which will be the important uh -huh. key thing that we'll have to figure out. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the start of the next phase. Is the f the next of your great labors is uh, is done, and you'll uh, you'll be heading off to a story. Uh, not off to a story. Off to Mitros fairly soon to deal with King Acastus and figure out your next steps in searching for the for the uh, for the ship that you that you've seen in or some of you have seen in dreams already. Um, but yeah, uh -huh. we will uh, we will deal with that next time. So well done, guys. Yeah, you've uh, you've made it through to this far. Cool. Uh, you will congratulations be able to level up. Uh, this is the next milestone uh, milestone for you all. And uh, yeah, we will uh, we will see these guys again in a couple of weeks uh, uh, in their time uh, and go from there. Well done, well done for keeping up with it. I know there was, that was a harder one with uh, with things going on and internet's uh, having problems, yeah. but. Uh, well done! You, ma you managed to push through. You managed to push through. So, uh, all good. All good. The, the, the Cerberus fight. Online. Yeah, you got the, the Forge back online. The Cerberus fight is one of the one of the toughest ones for your for a level that can happen. Um, it, you've got to understand that uh, some some playthroughs of this they they have they literally uh, would almost be dead from the elevator um, the, the the trap in the elevator uh, and yeah. then have to fight the Cerberus. Ooh. It oh, is the it is one of, it is one of the biggest um, game killers uh, uh, TPK moments of this whole campaign, and you've just passed it. Uh, oh, so that is good. Uh, yeah. So you uh, finding the trap last week, uh, the other week was very good, and uh, obviously then it gave you the chance of taking the Cerberus on with uh, with a bit more health. If that makes sense. But if you had been burnt to death Thank in goodness. the uh, in the elevator, it becomes a nightmare. Oh, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, it's a tough a enough. It's a tough enough, enough fight as it is. But well How done. Did we pass the elevator thing. Did we? You noticed. We... You noticed there was the trap, and you blocked. And you blocked the. Uh, and you blocked all the uh, the heads up when you realised that it was a trap. Yeah. But you can imagine there are groups that don't spot the trap, uh, and then yeah. it, it is. Uh, it is horrendous. The oil pours all over you. You're on fire for for round after round, and then you have to fight the Cerberus at the bottom. 
So <laughs> it is the it is it's horrendous, uh, or it could be. So well done, guys. You got one of the better uh, the better options. You have free nice. you have freed the uh, the elemental salamander uh, without any uh, <laughs> without any idea of where it's going or what it's doing, uh, which may or may not be a thing. But barring that, that's not a bad playthrough of uh, of what went on. So well done, well done. Okay. So, uh, did, um, Woody, just one thing. Forge can make. Well, Sorry. I was just going to say, can we read up anywhere about all these items that the Forge can make? Yes, um, I can uh, I can actually send it to you as a, a, a link. I'll put it in the Discord as a link, if that makes sense, because that will probably be the easiest way. So so in the uh in the Dragon Lords chat, I will sp I will put the link to the uh to the Google Doc that'll uh, uh make an easier way for you to look at it, if that makes sense. Out, oh, yeah, out yeah. of game, Have if we that got makes sense. Gold pieces to make this stuff. Now uh, you've got a few, and you've got you've got you've had some items that you could sell, um, but yeah, you, you're you're going to be Ooh, needing to you're going to be needing gold and lots of it uh, going forward. Um, but yeah, yeah we got yeah. loads of gold from the Minotaur cave. Yeah, you've definitely ha you've definitely got you've definitely got some bits. Got um, but yeah, this, well, this is where you this is where this is your money. No, sorry, sorry, I guess I go. We got we got some things we can sell. Sell, correct? Yeah, this is your money sink in the whole game, if that makes sense. Mm. So this is the oh, way. So we're going to be backwards and forwards to this place. Well, uh, you know there is a dock um, that you uh, there's a secret dock uh, that you guys know exists here now. I will say you know that with time. So yeah, you can sail a ship here quicker than you would be able to do it overland like you have this time. Uh, but you've cleared this place out. Time will pass, and people will repair it. And yeah, we will. This will be a not a base of operations, but certainly one of your one of your strongholds is the best way of putting it going forward. Nice. Um, and that's the bottom of that that uh, big shaft I started to walk down, isn't it? To the north. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of uh, yeah. Yeah. This place has got some uh, deeper things. There was also a mystery of what on earth killed because you fought a Cerberus. That was a young one. The one on the floor above that you found dead mm. was a was an adult one. So you've not fought an adult Cerberus yet. Um, but something killed an adult Cerberus. Yeah. Uh, so there's all that mystery as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're one one step at a time, one step at a time. Um, but yeah, we'll see what what you guys get up to as you have a couple of weeks of um, yeah, starting to get this stronghold in order and uh, starting to get things moving. If that makes sense, as we move into the next steps before you go so visiting. Based on the money we we can try and gather, we, we choose things that are relevant to our party. One hundred percent, you do, yeah, and you you probably should. <laughs> uh, absolutely, yeah, okay. this is this this is the way you can yeah you can sink money into things that are useful for you uh, okay. and build cool. magic weapons. So uh, maybe, we shall maybe see text them. in the group if you have ideas. Yeah, that, yeah, so start having a look and having a think. Uh, clearly, the two items that you've got you've, you've got on you guys are quite powerful items that can be repaired. So it may be worth considering the are they thing, are they first or not? Uh, I'll give you that's probably a good idea. Yeah. But the other things that are here, there are some pretty powerful items uh, well, that are worth interesting. So far, is that we do a lot of healing. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You're well. You're, so you're healing, and we need to bash for more. Yeah. Basically. Or, or you know, the other argument is, is, is there are there ways of improving the defense? Uh, so you know, yeah, there's, so there's two. The there, yeah. There's, so there's two ways of dealing with things. But yeah, have a look at the lists, and if there are questions, uh, yeah, you will be able to answer answer some of that. Uh, and and cool. kind of go from uh, kind of go from there, but yeah, we'll uh, we're certainly working Brilliant. through it. But well done, you've made it to the you've made it to the end of the great labors. So we're on to the next chapter, and this is where the real story begins, if that makes sense. So uh, this is all good. 